What's up, everybody? Welcome to it. It's the Mic Drop Sessions. Yours truly, Just Jace, TNT's most dangerous DJ. And of course, support, support, support. Just Jace 868 on all these socials, especially YouTube. That's the YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, share, comment, ring that bell for notifications to get, you know, word on upcoming episodes. And you know what we do here with the Mic Drop Podcast? We just pay tribute to the icons, the greats, the legends, people who pave the way for DJs like myself and DJs are coming after me. Now, a couple podcasts ago, we had DJ Star Child, and he asked the question, he said, I ain't see the ladies representing yet. And I tell him, hey, hey, don't rush the thing, because I'm, I'm working in a sequence now, you know what I mean? So, what I want to do is present to you this particular young lady, yes, even though I am older than her in age by far, <laughs> she started in the DJ fraternity before me. So this is going to be interesting to check out this in this particular episode. Ladies and gentlemen, she is one. In fact, the top, 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 representing the West Indies and the Caribbean in terms of DJing. The very top female DJ, the first. And we're going to find out if she's the first. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Alicia Scare, otherwise known as Alicia the Duchess. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right. First off, welcome to the show, and I'm glad you're inside. How everything's going? You're good. Thanks for having me. And thanks for being a part of this. I mean, it's a while now. Huh? Yeah, it's a while yeah. now. We've been talking and trying to put things in place. Yes, that's why I wanted to tell. I wanted to tell Star Child relax because it, it was already in a gear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, big up to Star Child and salute to you, Duchess. Salute to you. Yeah, 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 Start sure. it up. Uh, you know you 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 know you, you know you, you with your, your health watch. I'm sure some health potion you have there. Mm. Apologies, I'm one. Guys, all right, we go work with that. <laughs> all right. So Alicia, the Duchess, is in the building for the mic drop sessions. Glad to have you on board. And of course, the first female guest of my series. So definitely, I want to get a bomb for that. <laughs> a bomb for that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So before we get into, you know. Alicia, back in the day, 2021 during the pandemic, what's your status? I know we're not hearing much of you on Hot 93. That's the station you're normally at. Uh, what's the status with you right now and how are you keeping yourself busy? What is Alicia Duchess about in 2021? Well, Jay's just rocking back right now because, you know, because of COVID and whatnot. Uh, to hold off a bit um, from doing the lives and stuff on Hot 93 with Beauty and the Beats. You know, every Saturday, that's my thing. Yes. So I've been some lives online on Facebook and, um, and Instagram, those sort of things. So keep myself a little busy. And you also know I'm a part of the corporate world. Yes, yes. But um, because I'm a, a, a very <laughs> private person, you know that, yes. A yeah, lot of people yeah. don't know. Because a lot of people say, um, Alicia, you work, yeah, you work somewhere else, so you got an eight or four. So I say, yeah, and they said, I never knew that. I thought this was your full time job. So a lot of people don't know about that side that side of me right 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 well later on we're gonna you know talk about how you juggle the two in terms of the corporate yeah. as well as the dj world you know what i mean but before we even get back to alicia the duchess before that was even birthed or born i want to go back to alicia scare where is, is I'm, I'm i'm pronouncing it right is it scare well yes it is scare it used to be sky school, but it is scare <laughs> scare so let's go back to the beginning before you even touched a turntable. I want to know about your humble beginnings, um, your influences, and of course, um, what what bug what bug bit you to say, all right, I need to become a DJ. What made you say I want to touch two turntables? Talk to me. Well, Jason, you know, um, I'm from a family of seven, a huge family, um, three girls, three boys. Um, I'm I'm the last of the lot. They call me the spoiled child. You the right? last. I really thought yeah, you were I'm, I'm the first child. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. And my brothers, they were DJs back in the 80s, big time. Love Kid Crew. They were big and diamond. They 
for all the real parties and stuff. So they so were wait, 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 so you're going too yeah, fast, yeah, you're going too fast, you're going too fast. <laughs> you said the love, what, love what crew? Love Kid Crew. Love Kid Crew. I thought yes. that was the name of oh, your brothers. The LK. No, that's in the LKC means Love Kid Crew. Ooh. Wow, so that's you see, I got the, the show now start. I got a mic drop moment already, you know. Yeah, what I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay, right, okay. So love kid crew, all right, yeah. all right. So, yeah. during the love kid crew times, you were just an admirer of it, or you just like eh, them fellas doing their day, the, 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 the boy I mean, thing. I used to be checking women in the room every minute, um, uh, checking them out, listening to the music. I hear them mixing, and a lot of guys used to be passing through in the veil too. To hear them mix and to, you know that sort of thing and to vibes with them too. So I just to be, used to be around Jace. I was around them right through, right through. And one thing you may not know about me also, I lived in New York for five years. My dad got a scholarship. Yeah. A lot of things. So you like know? me then? Yeah. Because yeah. I grew up I grew up in Boston. You grew up in New I, York. I grew up in New York. Brooklyn, shout out to the wow. Brooklyn team. Yeah. <laughs> five years this. So, so I this, think that was, this was around what 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 era this was what 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 age what what year? I was more in the eighties, I would say. Eighties. Okay. Early, early. It could be more the late seventies, that kind of thing. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. So I, I mean, I grew up in New York City, and I think my brothers who get that name may have come from New York. That would have been like an influence for them. Right. And you know, they, they came from that kind of hip hop vibe in right. New York at that time too, and they were watching all the DJs who were coming up. And then when we came back to Trinidad, they decided, you know what, we're going big time into this thing. <laughs> and they were not just DJs playing a turn on turn tables and stuff. They had their own amplifiers, their own speakers, their full sound system. So right. when they go out to play, they pull it out the sound system too. And you know that too, Jace, it's not like now, where we go out, all we're doing is carrying our laptop. Yeah, or you yeah. carry, you carry, you have your sound system. Yeah, back then you had your, your back then you had your own sound system, just like the the, the actual music bands. Because remember, like in brass festival days, it used to be yeah. um, Charlie's Roots with a band, Correct. Byron Lee with a band. Um, I'm talking about PA system. Um, yeah. Chandelier with a PA system, and they would all wait the turn to perform, and then the crowd would run from this side of PSC to that side of PSC, <laughs> and the DJs. That was the same thing too, you know what I mean? Back in the days, Papa Rocky had a sound system. Um, before well, be Dr. Hyde came out after the sound system, but all DJs back then, um, New Birth, all of them, they had the power structures, they had the power system, sound systems to crack. Yeah. Correct, 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 correct. So as I said, yes, I used to be around them all the time listening to the music, vibes, and, and, and learning to mix, actually listening. We always have to use our ear. It was never about looking to see what the BPM is. It was like, please, listen to you the know music. It. You had to know it. Exactly. Yeah. You have yeah. to know your music. You have to yeah. know your music. It's not like just... So you ain't touching the turntable yet. Yeah. You just nah, you I just watch it. Yeah, yeah, I just yeah, watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm out. <laughs> my dad saying, Lisa. He said, come on, Lisa. Lisa, you went and study? So I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just run out, you, run out of the room. Yeah. And I go into my bed. You might want to sleep after that. But once he not around because he was an educator, I mean, you see, I tell him he got a scholarship to go to, to New York and, and study and work. And when he came back, he was a director in the Ministry of Health. So right. he was a full educator. So me you now saying, I mean, I'm primary school and I want to be a DJ. He was like, Lisa, study <laughs> 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 book, study book. So I did both days. I was able to kind of do both. So you're and sneaking, you're sneaking behind his back to yeah, 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 yeah. I was sneaking. I was sneaking a little bit behind his back. And so yeah. I wanna know, I wanna know what was what was the the first touching of the turntable experience like for you? I believe it would have been when we heard about the when my brothers heard about the Fresh Fest competition. Right. That would have been the first time I really touched the turntables. Uh, my brother Kirk is three, three brothers. I have Kirk, Nigel, and Peter. So Kirk was the one who was instrumental in getting me to practice and teaching me this mix to work for this competition. Because, I mean, I'm in and out. Right. Why not? And they're saying, I mean, we're doing this for years. We're doing this a while now. Let's send our sister. Why are you going up? Let's send her. And I had to practice this night in, night out. Running away from that. Because right. I want to hear Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, how, old, yeah, how old were you at that, at that I, point? I was around 11. 
11 years old. 10, 11 years old. Wow. So they are now coaching you on the, turn, on the turn, turntables to pull the songs and see the selections and whatnot. And right. they're showing you what to do. Who's the most instrumental in showing you? That was Turkey. My Turkey. brother Turkey. Right, right, he right, was right, the right, one right. who was real instrumental. And I mean, my other brothers were there, they were like, yeah, please come on. You have to understand that because we have this competition coming up. You have to be ready. It was well for Shane O'Days because we know that. Your dad knew the, the dad knew Well, the dad knew eventually. <laughs> <laughs> eventually. <laughs> After he gets one down and everything, I'm right. ready to go. He knew eventually. And he didn't mind because, I mean, I practiced for you and I was still focused on my work days. That was right, it. Right, right, I right, was right. still focused on those things. So he didn't have an issue with it too much. You know? So, let's go to the actual competition. Fresh Fest. Big up to Big C. Big C, we had a talk, right? Yeah. Big yeah. C, we're going to talk soon. Um, and, of course, that's Princess Building Grounds. And uh, I'm trying to picture myself did i yes i i i, I was there when you when you, you um entered the competition i was, I was Watford Square, yes Watford Square. Watford Square, that, was, that was that was the final that was the first one and the final yeah right now i was in the rap category i know that right That's i was perfect. battling it's, like, it's 2021 i'm an accomplished dj alicia lisa right so i was in the rap category battling men like rap patrol and um fly mcs and and rock crush crew and that type of stuff and um you were there you were there so i want you to take me to the prelims okay prelims the preliminary competition nobody knows in terms of the crowd that a female DJ is about to emerge and enter this competition. All right. If you can take me back to when that was, what yeah. was going through your system? Yes, I was nervous. I was nervous on what foot square, ram, jam, full to to capacity. It's tight. It's tight. And I this little girl, because my brothers were around me, obviously, they had the garden, because yes. I'm mean, 11 years old, 10, 11, and all these big men. They yeah, come to in this competition. People saying, Where is she going? Where is this little girl going? She should be warm in her bed. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I went up to mix out, they had to put a little box for me to stand, stand up. On. I yeah, I was too short. Wow. Wow. And when, when I put on that first tune. So tell me the names of the songs that you played. <laughs> yes, I can't remember all. But I can tell you. I did um time wine. Um yeah, at the time wine. I did yeah. some I think rock me, rock me. Because I did some soap in there, I did some disco, the Ico Ico. Right, but right. Longer. Yes. And then Sucker MC was the instrumental that I used. So that's Sucker MC with the Ico Ico. That totally destroyed this. Wow. <laughs> wow. Now listen, I, I, I remember the crowd going in a frenzy while you were mixing and photographers like crazy taking pictures and stuff you know what i mean so i know that must have been epic for you i remember star child in the, in the podcast the last a uh, couple of episodes ago he was saying that you even though you were nervous to yourself to the crowd they saw you with nerves of steel just like the s on your chest superwoman that's going in no nerves you ain't shittering you know no 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 hand shaking no miscue nothing you're on point every single particular song so you you, you set the tone you set the tone yeah, that was practice practice makes wow 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 That's That's so true. after that now so we that was you're 10 11 years old and i guess for a couple fresh fests years afterwards you continued with the competition i guess it too Two of them. Yeah, the one in Woodford Square. Right. The one, yeah. And then the second one I also want to. The second year I want to. That would have been I, Princess Building Ground? Exactly. Right. Exactly. Right. I hear, I heard Star Child saying something there as though it was one year alone. I don't know. Nita Jock is not. Right. I need to put some stuff there, Jace. Talk to me. Because we have the articles here. Time will we talk here for? We have the articles here. Time will we talk here for? Yes. I'm going to tell you who, who had these articles. Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, make sure. 
Wow. And, yes, this one is from the Sunday Punch. Yes. It's fun for them days, eh? But I want you to hear the headline, James. Tell me. Seems like everywhere you turn, youths are taken over. First, there were Marshall Montano and Natasha Wilson. Right. Now, 13 year old Alicia Spear has made her grand entry into entertainment. Express everybody. Wow. Everybody. One more, one more, Jess. Gimme, 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 gimme. One more. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes, Gil. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. That's some epic stuff, man. And I'm glad you kept the clippings. You just move like me, you know. You just really move like me. <laughs> You want to see the trophy in the back? Yes, That's from it? Look at Bring it closer, bring it closer, bring it closer. Bring it closer, bring it closer. I just wow. wanted the trophies in your case. Wow. The second one, I mean, because there's so many years of OJs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they're not going to have a condition there. I have my trophies too, boys. That is sweet, man. That is sweet. That is sweet. All right. So we went through the the fresh fresh scene. Your name is now, as the the headline stated, you entered into the entertainment world, especially here in Trinidad and Tobago. And Alicia Scare was stamped. All right. What was the next step after that? What happened after that? What was what was the next part of the timeline for you? Well, yes. School focus on school after winning those two years. I just had to focus on school and whatnot. Make sure I complete CXC. There were my passes. See if I could get a job, that sort of thing. And right. then later on in the second era now, Jason, because I am part of two eras of music. Eh? Yes. Two yes. eras of music, yes. Yes. And two two very important eras of music. Two very important eras. Yes. So then later on, um, maybe in my early twenties, I used to listen to the radio a lot, just right to right to. And sometimes I say, so so Jason you know, like we go to and uh, and bend as DJs. And instead of we party, we would be listening to the mix. Instead of, instead of see, the, see the mix sloppy. Why yes. he play this tune after this tune? I feel he coming over this tune next. Yeah. My vocals mixing with vocals. Yeah. All of that used to be yeah. listening for. So yeah. every day I'm listening to the radio and I said, mm -hmm. there's something like this. I find somebody DJ something a bit jumbled. It's not smooth. And I sing now. So listening to, I used to listen to 96.1 a lot. Mm -hmm. With signal on a Saturday. And um, Signal and Nubian used to work together. Signal to Noise and Nubian Sister. Signal to Noise and Nubian Sister. Nubian Sister. And six degrees on a Saturday. Yes, salute to yes. Nubian. Yes, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So I call Signal and I have Signal if I could come and make a little guess of it on Sunday. So I said, so then he made it happen. He said, let's see how So wait, so wait, wait, wait. So that was your first introduction to the airwaves or radio? Yeah. So signal he he he, he, did, uh, he let you do a guest spot during that Saturday afternoon. Yeah. Right. So it wasn't official. Uh, Jason was just like oh, come down. So every Saturday I would say signal like to come today and say well oh, come back. And I might even play sometimes Jace. I might oh, even play. Just there. I might just have to stand and watch. Right. But then sometimes he would say come down, come on do a thing. And I just used to play every so every Saturday I would do one play and do the thing and that sort of thing. Right. Right. Now after that now. Power one or two, about something with power one or two. Yeah. And um, I was working. I did a couple overnights there. Okay. And I also worked with Jerome. Jerome on a Jerome, Sunday. Jerome, boy. After. Jerome, yeah, Lewis. Yeah, yeah. Jerome, Jerome, Lalo, Trace, Lewis, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I worked with Jerome for a little yeah. while. Right. Um, I had done my, my, what am I doing? With how we did. Quality, quality, for broadcasting course. Okay, with well, right, so, Holly right. Thomas, with Holly Thomas. Right, so I did my broadcasting course with Holly Thomas, mm -hmm. that, and then tower ended up, I ended up going on with Power 102. Right, now pause, pause for a sec, because yes. what I want to find out too is, I know back then, you didn't touch a microphone at all. You were scared of that. Now I find it so strange, off the mic, I know you... Talk, 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 talk. <laughs> I'll talk again. Right? But yeah. once that microphone in front of you, mm -mm, you ain't touching that mic. So back in the um, 
power on two days. Did you touch the mic? Yes. Yes. All right. Power so, is it Polly Thomas not, brought that out of you? Yes. And it wasn't DJing on power on two days. You know how, how things were very old school back in those days? No set of slang, no dialect. You have to speak proper English. Yes. So, you would say, um, unless you need to speak from your diaphragm, you need right. to speak from here. I am hearing your, your high pitch. That does not sound good. This is overnight, you know, Jace. I get them jammed wow. after an overnight session from Tony Lee. So I'm like, are you listening at all? Come on, Tony. It's not that bad. <laughs> you know? And then the, the Saturday morning now, guess who's coming to read news? Mr. Dale Enoch. <laughs> yes. So you know the pressure was on. Right. So he would come and sit and wait maybe 15, 20 minutes before he reads news. So obviously, He's listening to this. He will listen. But he will just listen. He never said anything. I will just look at his face to see, you know, the facial expression. This is <laughs> something. Whenever it won't say the right things and whatnot. But the pressure was on at all. One of them. Right. So that was yeah. where your vocal skills were more or less crafted. At that, all. Was it. that was right. the base. That right, was the base. That was the Right, right, right. Nice, man. Nice. All right. So we're going along the timeline. We finished Fresh Fest. We went on. We bought, we bought Signal to Noise and Nubian. We take a little watch, we take a little chuck chuck now and again. And then of course power one or two to craft your your vocal skills and of course rest in peace, Holly Thomas. That's where you got your formal training from. So after that now, tell me what was the next step? Next step was ninety eight point nine. Hit like how that happened now. So that one again, just listening to the radio and stuff. Four brand names. I got a thank him for everything but he Big up OB. Yeah. yeah. Program, I want to come and do a session with you. Is it possible? And I'm squeezing in with Johan at self instruction. Big up Johan, madman. Yeah, big up Johan. Big up Johan. Yeah. He said, Come on, you said, Come on, do a little something again. So, so no problem. I went down. I did maybe about uh, 15 minutes, half an hour. And after that, it was history days. It was like, Yeah, she knows what she's doing. And I said, Let's go. You want the job? I want to give you maybe a, a Saturday evening. Let's go through something like that first, and then we can see how things move. Right, right. So right after right. that, now after getting my exposure there, I work with AD. I work with AD Sinhu. Both of us for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wait, 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 wait. Can you back it up? That no, it no, it no clicking. That's where the Duchess came in. That's where the name came from. Oh gosh, no Jess, no Jess, no. So it was always, it was Alessia, Alessia Duchess, Alessia LKC, and then I started to work with Dale Vine. They had me for one of their breakfast parties. When it now started, um, I did the breakfast party, and Dr. J from Kingdom of Sofa in Toronto heard me. And he said, yeah, I have to carry this girl to Toronto with me. I have a group, Kingdom of Sofa, where I have the Duke and I have the Prince and what it. And this year, will you come as a duchess? And that was it. He said, but here in the end, Jason, it was the duchess of Diamond Bay, which we know each other because you've got that corny boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's from Diamond, yeah. she's from Diamond Bay, and I say, so initially we used um, the duchess of Diamond Bay. I had a shield and all of that. For my, my logo was a shield. Huh? Yes. Right, right. And I started to go to Toronto with, with uh, Dr. J. Pick up Dr. J, the soccer friends, boy. Wow. Because I, I remember you and AV were the diva and the duchess. Correct. Correct. Yes. So that came yes. after that Toronto trip then? That came after wow. that. Yes. You yes. see why yes. we had the podcast? You see? You see? You see? So that is where Alicia the Duchess, the birth of that particular brand, was, was born. Was born, yeah. Toronto. Toronto. That's so, crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Back in those days, days, the Kingdom of Soka had someone who would play hip hop, had someone who would play R and B, soca, so every different genre. I was the person to, to play soca when I come to Toronto. So I was known for soca days and I always pushed the culture as far back as then. You know. I always used to push soca music right to the right. Right, 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 right. So right, after right. something with them for a little while now, working with Aiden, then um, O'Brien 
Tomorrow. 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 I'm a dollar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. <laughs> And of course, that was the whole um, female woman power yes. DJ fraternity, or should yes, I say, yes, yes. leading the, the flag for female DJs and female presenters in the second generation, or should I say, third generation of personalities, correct? Yes. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, so. Yeah. No. Okay, so, but Jason, I did my body work with you too. Was yeah, you did, you did, because I, I, I had came back from, um, this was just before I started doing my stint with Surface. I did a small stint back at 98.9 after I left yeah. um, 105, Vibe CD 105. Uh, just for a short period of time, uh, we worked together, um, you know, just doing a couple of shifts and so on. And then I bounced. And, you know, I was like, at least you're on point. She's doing a thing, you know what I mean? Because I know you were banging down that radio door for years, you know what I mean? Yeah. Watching the whole scene. I wanted to ask you a particular question. Would you consider yourself, and um, we go in, you know, I know you are your facts. Would you consider yourself to be the first female DJ of Trinidad and Tobago? Yes, I would. Yeah. I would. I would. And this, I know that I paid the way for a lot of other female DJs. I mean, I'm, a, I'm an innovator. And I, I, right now I would identify myself as one of the top DJs in, in the Caribbean yeah. and not just female DJ. Because right, back in right. those days, days, it was hard. It, it was, was, it, hard. was, it was a, a man, a male dominated it, DJ world. Thank you, thank you. And mm -hmm. we had to carry our own. I don't know how much needles you bought, Jess, but I bought a lot. Yeah. A lot of needles, a, a lot of records, a lot of money was spent with. Yeah. Um, every time we hear something new came out, we have to call ETC or we call and please to ask you to make sure and have two. You must have two of those yes, records. Yes. And you must have the latest. Yes. And the records we spent a lot because Carnival Time of Jays on the road. I don't know about your records. My records used to be walked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right true, right yeah. true. Right true. Right yeah, true. Yes. <laughs> so I mean, we we, we, we did a lot back in yeah. those days and, and as I, I always say, we cannot see the games. I can mix flying four ledges. Nice. I don't need to be looking at a computer. That, that, that's, the, that's the cloth we are cut from. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's how we learn the spin. That's how we learn the spin. Yeah, that's, that is really part of mixing energies. Yeah. Not looking at a computer. You are to look at a crowd. And, and for me, Jess, as you said, I was never a talker and a, and a part of your story. Right. I, I used to Initially, yes, I would hire someone. I used to hire someone to talk for me in events and, and stuff like that. So but you would hire a mic man? I would hire a mic man. Right, right. I had right. crush. I remember having crush. He used to work with um, self construction. Right. And right. the other guy I would hire also. They were good. But sometimes we go to events and I would say, but how come he said that when I was doing this mix? And why did he say that? Why he didn't say this instead to mash up the crowd? Right. That sort of thing. So eventually, right. now, um, my husband said, he said, Lise, why don't you talk to yourself? We spent all of this money and time by holiday. They went on power one or two. Yes. No way you spend your time. Come on, <laughs> come on, you can do it. And I would say, well, yeah, I, know, I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't know, because everybody was in, I don't, I don't think the crowd was maybe so confident in talking now, they knew right. I could make. Right. But when I started to talk now, remember, Jesus, everybody in the started listening. Yes. You listen attentively, because you were going there with your mixing. No, you're so talking. Let's hear how she does. What was the first party that you grabbed the mic and you represented both on turntables with your hands and vocally on the mic? What party that was? And tell me how that went. Jess, I try to remember. I can't remember which, which party that was. I really, really can't remember what party that was. Jess. But you can remember what happened? Um, Everyone, you think with me, Jess, every party I played at, it was tough. Because every time I played, it's like the party would stop and everybody would gather around me and just look. 
And I am like, why are you all not dancing? You all can dance. But yes. I think they were looking to see if my brothers were mixing like, for you. They were mixing for me. Right. They were choosing the music for me too. So all that two days, I have to make sure my kids and stuff were out. And I have to pull my own selections because that crowd was hard back in those days. They came around and they would look at me and eventually just, then I said, oh, people started talking. Okay, good. That means they knew I was playing music. Right, right. And yeah, because that was, that was the order they did. That was the order they yeah, that was the other day. When 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 a DJ stepped in a party back then, they were watching the DJ from the time he steps out of his vehicle to see what clothes he have on, to check his swag, to see who gonna carry records inside. When you reach inside now, thing they're watching every st every single step he makes. What kind of alcohol he drinking? Cause they they bring in alcohol for you. If you're mashing up the place, they'll bring drinks for you. All right. So they're watching to see what you're drinking. Thing. Then you start a spin. And when I started spinning all the crowd coming around the, the, the console, the DJ console, to see every single movement, your hand movement with the record, going in the crates, putting all the records, they want to see every single movement and they inspect it. Yeah, inspect, it's like an inspection. Yeah. yeah. And if you play any shit, <laughs> that is it. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, I'm, so I'm, I know the crowd was tough then. So you started talking. And folks accepted it. Were they accepting the first the first yes. time where you had you had to yeah. work it work it work work the problem? I had to work my way work my way to yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was tough. It was tough. Yes. All right. Yes. So why all this is going on? What are your brothers doing? Because I'm seeing the 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 rise like a phoenix out to the ashes. You see now the city Duchess is born and she's gained this big, tremendous following and backing and so on. And LKC was it, were they still around? Was the DJ group LKC still around or that? They, they sold out everything. Right. They sold right. out everything. They also had a maxi for LKC back in those days. You know they had the hard time. Yes. And, you know that's how the music used to sell too because they right. were their mixtapes and stuff on plate. But they had sold out and they moved on. So I just started to do my own thing. Wow, that's crazy, crazy. All right. So I know also as well. In the midst of all the party stuff, you were heavily in demand in the corporate world. Corporate Trinidad and Tobago loved Alicia in terms of for all the functions, all the, 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 the staff parties, Christmas parties, carnival parties, um, in, in, in house competitions, whatever it may be. You were the go to person for that. When did that start to pick up for you, the corporate side? That's what I started to pick up for me, I would say, when I was on radio, when I started my radio um, programs and stuff, because they could have heard me speak to. Right. And they need someone who can speak and who can introduce and play music and, and mix music too. So I believe that may have been in Hot 90 days and it was. It right, could have been right. when I started in Hot 90. Right. That was, that was tremendous. I mean, I want to say thanks to that team too for allowing me to do my thing. Um, during my time there, I mean, I am part of the, one of the leading banks in Trinidad and Tobago, and I should say by extension, the region. Drop a bomb, this. Drop a bomb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's some about bomb. that in terms of the, the, the balancing of, of working at the bank. And of course, you're right. You're, you're rising not just from one capacity in terms of, uh, you know, what, what what were you when you started in, in the bank? Oh, uh, my talent. The teller. So you started as a teller, yeah, and yeah. of course you grew from that. Mm, straight up, straight up, straight up. Straight yes. up. So oh, tell yeah. me, how was that now for the bank side? Tell me what, oh, what, what happened there. Well, yes, most of the times I would play for my events and stuff over the events, so it would have never interfered with my full time at all. I would play all this on a Sunday, on Monday morning, I would. I am there at 6, 30, 7 o'clock ready to come. If it meant changing into my uniform from wherever I am, making sure I'm fresh and stuff, jump yeah. on plane and I'm in my uniform to head to work, drive straight from the airport to work, that was it. Wow. That was it. So I remember Payan telling me, Payan said, what are you doing, Alessia? Because we travel to play in Toronto. Yeah. So she said, what are you wearing? And we were coming back. I said, hey, and I also work. 
I want to know that I'll talk she said, you can't be serious. I said, yes, she can. She said, yeah. Up to this day, she remembers that day. She remembers that particular moment and that event. Yeah. Where I was, and she said, Alicia, I can't believe it. How do you do it? So I did tell her, I said, I said, okay, I want to have a good support system. You um, know, I'm thanks to my entire family who supported me, my mom, my sister, um, my husband, everybody gave me that support. So I was able to be good. Nice. All right. So... I wanted to go into pictures yet, boy. You, you know I like to do the pictures thing. <laughs> yeah, too, and you have pictures, and you know, and I some things Yeah, I have some pictures, but we'll get to that shortly. Yeah, okay. Um, I know. Um, as you say, with the touring, tell me how was that for you? What was the first um tour, the first spot that you flew to when the Duchess was born? What was the first spot that you, you were able to, to represent Toronto? Toronto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From there, that was it. And then there's Jamaica, there's New York, it was Miami, it was London, all over up to Belgium. I was there too. It was crazy. Jamaica was one of the most memorable ones for me, this. Yeah, tell me why. Tell me why. Yeah, I remember playing in an event. And after the soccer party, um, they said, let's go to asylum. I don't know asylum nightclub. I know asylum, so right? Like, <laughs> asylum nightclub. They said, let's go to asylum nightclub because Stone not just playing. I don't think we're going to there too. Right. So, big up Delano. Yeah, Big up Delano. I mean, Rory from Stone Love to be proud. Yep. When I reach when I reach in the club now, um, Stone Love, apparently they were speaking to Renaissance of Delano and they were asking about me. And they said, let her come and do a couple of sessions. Never ever has that ever happened to any other DJs where school love will let someone play on their set or during their set. Wow. So they said, come and do run a couple and I'll run in their duck plates. Yeah? Come and run a couple duck plates for us. Run this, run this, run this, run this, run this. And I will be talking. So you are we already there talking and I double. Wow. You have some 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 sort of recording or, or, or <laughs> photograph or something. Don't tell me I'm not doing that at all. Yes, I don't find something. I couldn't <laughs> find it. I had a picture that I can't find it. Wait, that is history right there, Gil. It is, that's history. Wow, wow, wow. I remember those days too. We had switched at some point in time. We had switched to the the plates. Yes. So that could be uh, the puppy and his right. and stuff. Radioactive. I mean, they're from Diamond Bear to Shout yes, to the Bear. Yes, yes. At that time, too, I saw what? I had to go to the floor. I need to remain relevant. And I started to get the plates for all this. But right. here, how I get my the plates? I will check Lano. And I say, Lano, fix what now? Because I am paying no 3 400 US for no play of J's from the man. Right, it was right. expensive in those days. It was really expensive. So I started to invest in, in the plates and stuff, which I have to because I wanted to get the, the events too. Just like Hoppy, you know, Hoppy would have his event and then they would have fire on the beach and all of these things. Right. So if I go to Hoppy's event now, it was 45 shop now. Yeah. Yep. Yep. He would have invited me to that. And I paid maybe one or two plates and totally destroyed. I think it was table time. Totally destroyed the plates. Please. Just to make a little guest appearance so that people still know who are going to say she did that many times. This is what we do now. Right. She inside with that too. You know, I never clashed. But I was still a part of that too. That's fantastic stuff. Because, you know, with, with me, I never went down that dub plate route yeah, yeah, yeah. at all. I, I was all about drops. I would get drops from... The, yeah, I would get any drops from the American <laughs> artists. And I was getting them for free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But the plates... Yeah. I remember that you went down that road, that sound system, and, yeah. and listen, you were toe to toe once again yeah. with the giants in them days, the the, the yeah. cell constructions, the jugglers, the the hyper hyper radioactive. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and not just the plates, because I always represented the sofa. I had all the sofa plates. Right. I remember there was a year that I went for its that for its standard. Yes. I went to the Istanbul plate and two, three o'clock in the morning, I waited for Marshall to do his part. Yes. So up there, I have a way to await him. I had to, I came in the studio, I sat with him, and you know, 
Marshall not doing one job. Right. He's saying 10, 11, 12 times to make up that track. And I'm right. like, but Marshall, it's fine. Very you know. So I'm going to say, no, let's go. No. And over his part. And at that time, two days, I was having a first kid. Yes. I was having my yes. first kid at that time. So yes. right there, they, I'm there waiting for my plate. I got it. And I say, right. I say, but I need that shot. How the plate could be Marshall, Marshall alone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that don't make sense. And I remember it was Carnival Thursday. I say, that's right. I hunt them out just right every day, every day. I say, that's right. Yeah. I come and do it walking soon. Because I had to mash up this tree in the breakfast party again. I big it or this, but I must have that tree for the breakfast party. Wow. So the Thursday again, I think it was maybe three, four o'clock in the morning. That's right. And then she came here because I used to record all my notes here in your Yes, Yes, every, yes, everybody passed wow. through here. Naya George, everybody passed right, through. Right. So that's right. So came in and she did her part. And I was like, oh, God, yes. Because he mixed it down with both of them. Right. And I said, all right. Then I'm going to see the breakfast party. Breakfast party, yes. Morning, I'm ready to make, make the babies. The first one. Yes. Yes, you know what I'm telling you? Number one came out because I was ready. What I was ready to go. Is this? Yes. <laughs> I was ready. So I put the shot in your part. Yes. Next morning, straight to the nursing home. My daughter Ashley. So I am not saying. Up, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I, it. I did my plate and I have to play it. Guess what? Sunday morning. Wait, 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 wait. Absolutely. Wait, 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 wait. This is Thursday. Right. Which was done. Right. Right. Quoted everything. Right. Daughter was born Friday morning. Correct. That's Carnival Friday, right? Yeah. Carnival Friday morning. Yeah. And Carnival Sun. When the party is Sunday? Sunday morning. Carnival Sunday morning. You playing. Yeah. No. I'm stand, I'm here to just, I, I'm not going to play just like that. So I say, I say, I see what? I need to hear that mix before I go in that breakfast spot. So he bought it for me. I listen, I say, yeah, it's okay. I say, I don't worry, I will be good. Sunday morning, days. I went to the breakfast party. I say, guys, because they didn't think I was coming. Everybody said, I was so only here this year. She had nursing home <laughs> for the child. She has picked me in hand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Jess, I came here when my pause was in now. You just went around. I was up on the roof. And I just run that place, this. This for. It's cannibal plate. Totally destroyed the place. Wow, wow, and everybody's wow, like, wow. what are you doing? You know, after that, I went back home. Pause! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> tell, tell me about that that um veil vibe, the original Diamond Veil party from its inception. Um you were there from the beginning? Yeah. Tell me I about tell, tell me about yeah. from the, the beginning to where, where it is right now. Yeah, the vibe started in the garage. Mm -hmm. In the garage. Um I remember going there to play again, Jess Akushi. And I like to talk. <laughs> I push and I like to talk. I go on with my records. I went with my records and I said, guys, I came to do a session, right? I'll do a session. So Wayne said, all right, okay, go ahead, no problem. I do the session. He said, yeah, it's sounding good. The next year, they call me. They said, I was here. We wanted to play for the breakfast party. We thinking we were still, I was playing from the living room. Because the, the, the session party was just in the garage. Right. And then it grew. It ended up in the in on the pavement. On the pavement. On the pavement and in the yard. Right. And then it went from the, the yard to the pavement to the road. Right. And then it ended up in the park. Right. In on Amethyst Avenue in yes. the park itself. So it's all there be taken up. Wow. In the house itself, pavement, road, park. And, and then it the outgrew the area. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's the whole area. So big. Big up the Vail Vibe family. Wow, big up the Vail Vibe family. Salute, salute, salute. Breakfast party. I mean, you know, we're doing the 
pull a party now. Yes, yes, yes. yes. About three years ago. So and then, of course, you took it overseas to New York as well. Well, that is cool, uh, the breakfast right. Breakfast right. right breakfast right. right. Wow. So, epic so, stuff. Epic I stuff. have traveled in a lot of ways, not just playing music, but promotion. I don't have to tell production to you, but you don't marry, you marry my laugh. You hear me saying that now. No, we have no, we have no. I have production, of course, with Omari. Because I wanted Can to. Can you Omari? Yes, I wanted to learn to, to produce and, and make the dance and stuff. But just remember, I still, I still have an 8 to 4. So I have my 8 to 4. I'm doing the production course. I'm coming home. I'm trying to do this thing and put the rhythms together and stuff. I tried to do that for a little while, but it was a lot to do. So you never I got burnt out. That. You never got burnt out because listen, you you, you, you hear the jug, the ball, the, the type of, of, of balls you're juggling. You're doing first off, mommyhood, right? Motherhood, bank, corporate, DJ out on road or sometimes overseas, radio. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. How, 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 how and do you. Yes, you didn't have gigs. Back gigs, yeah, yeah. Well, Three, four gigs and I told so first day, as soon as tomorrow and I finish play, we have two gigs, that's Thursday night. Friday night, we have about three gigs that might do one with tomorrow and two with baby. Right. Saturday, we have three gigs. And Sunday, we had gigs too. So, it was really And then busy. Monday, I had to go to the bank. And then Monday, I had to go to the bank. Right? It was really, really busy days. And yeah, I mean, I felt tired sometimes, but I, as I say, James, once you have that support system, yeah, you will be okay. I'll be right, okay. Right, right. So right, I, right. I still got, I still got my last days, and you know, I'm gym twenty four seven. Yeah, so yeah always, a health 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 health. Health. always a health buff. Always a health buff. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I, and I have been exercising even with, with my kids. I still continue to exercise during my pregnancy and stuff. Wow. So I have to try and stay for two days. <laughs> well, at least you're younger than me, so you're going good. <laughs> All right, before we go to the pictures, or should I go pictures and go to this question? Um, nah, let me go pictures. We're going pictures. Pictures time. Pictures time. Let's go check out some pictures. I have a couple of pictures. One of them you showed me. All right, but I'm going to show you again. Once again, you'll get them the context behind what will happen when these pictures were taken. All right. So let's get to the first one as I get ready to go into our first session here. Bam! Talk to me one time. What is this? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey. Where did you find that? You don't study that. Don't study that. Tell me, where, where was this? What is this? Who that is this? Was, um, that was me. That is in my brother's bedroom. This is, you, you realize this, watch me. In, in the background, you would see yes, uh, yes. tape recorder there, yes, so that's tape. where they, they would do their mixes and stuff and whatever other things they have. It is an equalizer. Um, look at the mixer, how big it is. Big, that was the big mixers, that was the GLI. Massive, like the GLI yeah, massive. Yeah. And then you have my turntable there. Right. How old were you in this picture? Um, I would say about 12 in my 12. I wow, wow. All right, we're going again. Bam. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> this is, no, this is yeah. CD era. This is the CD era. <laughs> right, yeah. CD era, there it is. That would have been Ambassador Plus. Oh, this Ambassador. Uh, yeah, to the right side, that's one of my brothers, Nigel. This is Nigel? To the right side, one of them. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, we're going again. Bam. Breakfast party, yes. <laughs> Breakfast party. So up on the rooftop. That's the rooftop. So that is where. Yeah. Well, would that be when your your your, your daughter was born, or or yeah, or, or prior? That may have been prior. Prior, because I guess that was when the Socorriers did a thing in Germany. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that year. That was a good year. Yeah. All right, we going again. Bam. Hey, how we? <laughs> how we get to the leg, right? Our proper motions. Lafleur. David George and the team. They got David George and the team. Yeah, they got David George, man. All of the events, everything. Right. 
Crazy. Crazy stuff. Absolute hit man, how we tea. How we tea we are the top. How we a dodging me, brother. How we? How we? <laughs> we going again. Bam. <laughs> Yes. This yes. was when I had a shake in New York. Mm -hmm. For some reason, we had to pass through Boston. I yeah. believe this is the Boston airport. I saw Kanye. I said, like, I said, yeah. I told my brother, I told my brother. <laughs> and he said, come with me now. I said, yeah. hey, I'll figure a picture. I'll figure out. I'll figure a picture. So I did ask him. I said, Kanye, can I get a picture? So my brother took the picture. And I said, let's get another one because I'm not sure how this one came out. And he said no. He said no? <laughs> yes. Mm. Yes, he said no and he walked away. Wow, you get one shot. That's it. I got one shot, so that was it. So I wow. said, tell me, I tell him, my brother. I said, I hope you got a good one, you know. <laughs> I hope for you. Me, I hope for so. you. Because he said no. So he said no. That is crazy. All right, yeah. we're going again. We're going again. Bam. Ah, look at you. Hey, hey. <laughs> You serious? This is where Marshall started. This is the first concept, and it was called AC1 Alternative Concept One. One. Yes. Wait, no, that wasn't the one with the with with um when he stand for long. No, 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 just try this. No asking, I just <laughs> remember no, I was no, with, no. I was with no. Surface in them days, and I was on that show when he stand for. Oh, this one was in Mobs Two. Mobs Two, okay, 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 okay. Well, okay. in Shagarama somewhere. Right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we going again. Let me see if I, if you know this person. Bam. <laughs> Don't study it, the man. You see, you see, corporate duchess. Look at corporate duchess, ladies and gentlemen. That's corporate duchess. Mm -hmm, yeah, that, yes. was, that was an event you and I did. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right, I have any more, boy? I think I've, I have, I probably have a, a bonus. I think I have a bonus one. Let me see. Yes. Oh, gosh. Just take <laughs> 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 Yeah, and here, this was back in the day when we met the new Brooklyn Brooklyn. Yeah. Serious. That picture there again. That picture wow. was back in the day. Wow, 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 wow. You baby this? Yes. Epic stuff. Epic stuff. Uh, uh, epic stuff. Epic stuff. Yes. Epic stuff. Nice. All right. Dutch, we nearly done. No, we nearly done. We nearly done. I want to talk about um in terms of the question I want to ask before, of course. But yeah, let me let me toast, let me toast for real. Salute, salute. All right. Yeah. Um. With of course the birth of Duchess and the popularity of the Duchess, you open the door for a lot of female DJs to come through. You know what I mean? Pick up like the DJ Charlottes, the DJ Annas, that that type of stuff. It's okay. Are you happy? This is a question I really want to ask. Are you happy in terms of the direction these new, the next generation? Because you've actually passed the baton to these females to run and showcase the world of DJing. Are you happy in the direction in which the new generation is going? Um, how should I say this? I think it's, it's going in the right direction. Don't mind my crap on them back, back. Yeah, yeah, back. that's what I do. <laughs> the direction is going in, and how I would really like to see the direction is going in, it's, it's more of your talent piece. Talented, wise, that's the direction I would like to see. Right. Um, we, we, we see a lot more than that. We see a lot more, yeah, we're going in the um, social media and that sort of thing. But I would like to see where we could promote the talent. We all are pretty, yes, we all look yes. good, we all yeah. are sexy. Yeah. We are yeah. women, we are beautiful. Yes. 
But let's show that we have the talent. Too. Talent, skill. Let's show that we have the talent and the skill showing art of mixing. That's what I would like to see more. Right, 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 right. Well put. Well put, well put, well put. And in terms of the actual DJ fraternity uh, across the board, you know I mean, beyond gender, you know what I mean? Because as I said, you came out before me. You know what I mean? You came out beast mode. I came out beast mode. Cut from the cloth of back then. Turntables, two, two, two Technics 1200s, vinyl, learning to blend, yes. knowing music by air, knowing yeah. music by soul. Because you have to know exactly when is the right spot to cut and blend stuff in. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then, of course, we went into the techn te technology era. Well, of course, first was MP3s, CDs, the CD players, the CDJs and whatnot. And then now yeah. Serato. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. And yeah. these new DJs yeah. now, uh, you know, yeah, technology has made stuff easier. But some are not willing to grasp what the fundamental the fundament fundamentals of DJing is supposed to bring forward and teach you to right. move forward. Right. Right. Um, do you see that these new ones are seeing us as quote unquote dinosaurs? Are not willing to learn from us? Yeah. Um I if it's possible it is. But you have to but you will be surprised this. They they do. They learn from us. Right. They would have learned, they would look and see what we do and try to mix it with now. So they mix them with now. To get that full that that actual that right mix. Yes. To get that right mix. Now and then. So we would be surprised because a lot of us might say, no, oh, they're looking at what is future, but they're also looking past you. Because if you listen to some of the music that they play sometimes, how did they get that? Right. That would have been right. from our grades, from right. our life Yes, right? yes. So, yeah. yeah. So, they, I think that they, they, they look at us and they look up to us. A lot of them would tell me, yeah, they tell me, I really look up to you and you think you're the and that sort of thing. So they look up to us. And the beautiful thing about it is, like especially with yourself and myself, our phone's still ringing. We were big yeah. back then, and we okay. still big now. <laughs> okay. yes. I will not even be on. So I'm in the social media for a while, and I am not on the radio either. And I am getting calls this where promoters are telling me, "I'm here. We will book you." I'm saying, I'm, "I don't have the shop yet. I'm not sure if you can come out." They said. Don't worry about it, we will promote you and if you can come, come, if you can't come, don't worry about it. But I don't do business like that, please. Yes. I want yes. to make sure I can come. Gotcha there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that says a lot for us, please, that people just know what they're good at, what they're known for. And they know the experience. So they're still calling for that. They're still calling for it. Whether they see you on social media or not, yeah. they know your word and your name's still big out there. Yes, 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 yes. Tell me about your lives. I know you're starting your lives. You stopped for a little while. Tell me what's happening with your lives. You're going to re resume these lives? Yeah, 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 on, on yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. resume. I want to resume. Facebook, they like to get trouble, James. Yeah, they Twitch, like Twitch, is way. Way. Twitch, Twitch is the way. Twitch is the way. Yeah. Twitch is the way. Twitch is the way. So, most likely, I, I may go to Twitch or maybe I might mix it. Because, you know, they have different clouds too. Yes. So yes. My mom people on Facebook, they were like Twitch, so I will mix it a bit. But very soon I would like to resume. Actually, it could be the Saturday and it is. Hey! I did have a good one. One last million One last million dollar question before we bounce, Alicia. What is next for Alicia the Duchess? You've done so much, you've done so far, you've reinvented, you evolved, you've branded, rebranded. 2021 and beyond after this pandemic when things begin to get normal because i see there's some a little light at the end of the tunnel what's going to be next for the duchess well i may be having the money for my um about a couple of things coming up in jamaica too um new york also um so most likely it will be the touring again back on the road again pumping as always also, we might be here in Canada, then ready for the invite to now. Yes. If the carnival comes, we're ready to come for that and to perform <laughs> at all the events for carnival. Because for me, this 
that's where my events start in from for carnival right and that's right. where a lot of the DJs don't understand they want to play all the other genres but trust me so far run the world so far music when i am hired jays for any country in the world you know what they hire me to hear so, so far ah. and what i love about it too is you yeah. hold the mic and represent the flag in front of the crowd exactly. and had them exactly. doing antics you know what i mean one woman i'm a jess i like to think that kind of thing i'm a performing dj i always tell people i'm a performing dj where i like to go and feel the energy feel the crowd i like to be a part of it i don't know how i would do it now jess <laughs> i don't know i might have to put on 10 masks i know <laughs> i know but i like to feel the energy and crowd we will cross that bridge when it comes but i know you're ready to cross the bridge you know what i mean yeah. alicia Definitely. I have to humbly salute you as one of the greats, one of the icons, started the first female DJ of Trinidad and Tobago. I salute you and all you've brought to the table. Thank you for what you've done. Salute, 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 salute. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Alicia the Duchess in the building. Let's take one last sip. Alicia, thanks so much for being a part of the show. All right? Salute, salute. Okay. Thanks for, me. Thanks for having me. As yeah, always. Yeah. Best. Listen, folks, this has been the actual mic drop sessions. I might tell you this is an epic, epic session. Salute to the Duchess who passed through and be a part of the action. Don't forget, we have more episodes to come. I have something very special coming up because I'm preparing something special for the anniversary of the 1990 attempted coup in Trinidad and Tobago. All right? So look out for that coming up on Tuesday. July 27th, 2021, 31 years later, something special right here on the Mic Drop Sessions, all right? In the meantime, support your boy, Just Jace 868 and of course, remember, subscribe, like, comment, share, and of course, hit that bell for notifications for new and upcoming episodes. I'm Just Jace. I'm going to see you on Tuesday, July 27th, 2021 for TNT. Salute. Ladies and gentlemen, Just case, just case. In the house tonight, and they just got back from off tour, and I think they got something they want to say. Mike, check one, two. What is this?